Hey, what's up, baby and child dedication families? Welcome to the first ever online baby and child dedication class. This is something we've done in the past on Sundays after church, but we're trying to kind of lean well into the fact that our schedules are crazy busy these days. We live in an on-demand culture, kind of without sacrificing community along the way. So we're trying this. Thanks for being my guinea pigs. I'll probably ask you for feedback, but it's important, I think, on, on my end, before you stand up and dedicate your kid to be clear about what this is, why we do it, and about the commitment I'm asking you to make to the church and I'm asking the church to make to you as you raise your kid. So first things first, what is baby and child dedication? Why in the world do we even do this? Well, it has its roots way, 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 way back in the Old Testament. In Deuteronomy chapter 4, as God has kind of given the nation of Israel the, this picture of who he wants them to be and, and what kind of nation he wants them to, to be in the world, there's this passage called the Shema. And Shema means here, listen up. And, and he says, listen up, Israel. The Lord our God, the Lord is God uh, alone. The Lord our God is, is one. Like, impress this on your children. Talk about it when you get up and, and when you lie down. And it's the foundational passage for the nation of Israel. But a huge part of that that they understood was that God is demanding. He, he's calling. He's inviting inviting them to be intentional about making sure the next generation knows who he is and how he loves and what he's done and who he made them to be. And thousands of years later, that, that call is the same. We have a responsibility to those that we're raising up to make sure, to make sure that they know who God is and, and to make sure that, that not only do they, do they know him, but they, they feel his love and hopefully love him with all of their hearts, their souls, and their strength. And so in ancient Israel, they always dedicated the first child to God. This is a tradition that Mary and Joseph followed with Jesus in Luke chapter 2. And, and parents like Hannah did in Samuel with, with her son Samuel. She took him to the temple and she said, God, this, this kid is, is yours, I, it, not mine. This is a gift. You've given me the gift and, and the responsibility of, of raising this child, but I want to do it your way and I want to make sure my kid knows who you are and who you made him to be and, and, and how you love. And for generations, for thousands of years, we've realized that part of what it means to love your kid well is to make sure your kid knows how much God loves them, how, like how huge his, his love is. And, and that's your primary responsibility as a parent. And so the commitment that you're making when you dedicate your child to God is, is this commitment to say, God, this is, this is a gift. This stewardship of raising this kid is a gift that you've given me, and, and it's, it's, it's your kid. She's yours. He's yours, and I want to do everything I can to help him, to help her see who you are and who you made him to be. So that's the commitment I'm asking you to make and the commitment I'm asking the church to make to you is to come alongside you and say, hey look, we know you can't do that alone because you can't. Parenting is just incredibly difficult and so baby and child dedications are something we do as a church to come alongside you as a body and say, yeah, that's hard and, and you're going to struggle along the way and you're going to need help along the way and you're going to need encouragement and prayer and love along the way and we love your kid. And at Revision we do, we're passionate about the next generation. I just I love, love, love walking across the hallway on Sunday mornings and seeing all these young lives learning who God is and just how passionately he loves them and who he made them to be. And it, just, it fires me up. And so my commitment to you and our commitment to you as a church is we want to do absolutely everything we can to come alongside you in the journey, to encourage you, to pray for you, to, to resource you, and to just, to just love your kids with everything we've got. And so that's what we're doing um, at, at Baby and Child Dedications. It's not baptism. It's not a substitute for baptism. It doesn't save anybody. It's not even a command in the Bible. Like, you must dedicate your your children. This is just something we do as as a way of, of committing ourselves. To say that as a parent, God, you gave me these kids. I realize that my primary responsibility to them is to point them towards you. And as a church, we have a responsibility to the next generation. And we're going to come alongside parents and, and just love their kids by showing them the love of God. So, so that's kind of that's what we're doing. It's a, it's a mutual commitment to the raising of 
your kid and the way that we do it at revision there's a, there's just a couple unique things number one we're going to ask you to pick a vision verse for your kid and we call it a vision verse not a life verse or there, there's a lot of different words out there but i love the the idea of a, of a vision verse this is this is the picture of the future you're praying and and hoping your kid lives into it's this vision that you have for their life it's a verse that you can pray over your kid and the it, it's it's one little set hopefully like guidelines and guide rails and and direction for the way that you're aiming this kid's life it's in, in my life for my kids it's one that I can just come back to and say yeah that's who I want this kid to be that's who God created my son my daughter to be and and I need to do what I can to help point them towards that and so I just want to encourage you to pick a vision verse it's a fun process there's 30 plus thousand options as you probably read in your in your email so that's just that's a lot of choices but um, I, I sent you some links and would love for you to just pick a verse that says, that says that, that fits you and fits your kid and fits your family and says hey look this is this is the vision we have for our daughter this is the vision we have for our son. This is the vision of, of who I want this kid to be and what I want my kid to know about just how crazy, mega, insane the love of God is for him or, or for her and, and who God made them to be. And so I encourage you to pick a vision verse. We'll put that on the dedication certificate. We'll also share it with, uh, with the congregation on Sunday the 17th while we do the dedications. And then... Um, the other bit, there are the other piece of this, you know, I talked about our commitment to the next generation, just our deep, passionate love for them, but also our desire, my desire to, to really come alongside parents. I, as a parent, I have found that um, it's way harder than I thought it would be, and I need more help than I ever thought I, I would need. It's not just simple to, to figure out, you know, what's the best way to teach my kid who God is and how he loves them, to, to steward their spiritual development. How do I do it? And so we have a resource for all of you. Um, what we'll give you is something called a faith box. And it's a box that we'd encourage you to put the dedication certificate in, a baptism certificate in at some point, like significant markers and milestones and significant um, certificates and that kind of thing along your kid's spiritual journey. There's also a faith book in there. It's just a journal that you can write down so that they someday can remember and you can remember like the, the markers that you have seen of God in their life and, and the way that he has drawn them to himself over the course of their life. Just a really cool opportunity to, to write it down and look back on what God has done and how he has shaped them over the course of their life. And then also in there, what we have is, is a set of resources for you that hopefully will be really useful. Um, and I'll ask for feedback on that too, like whether these are or aren't. But we have in there something called the Jesus Storybook Bible which is just a really easy, clear, and, and there are some like really bad kid Bibles that are just theologically and just like literature wise. They're just not that great. The Jesus Storybook Bibles are a really cool one. So we have a Jesus Storybook Bible in there that comes with some DVD resources, some CD resources, and, and also some curriculum for like the New Testament and the Old Testament. Like, hey, if you want to be intentional about leading your kid through this, here's like a plot. Take them, through, take them through this story and this story and this story. Here's some questions that you can ask. Here's some, some ways to do it. Because we just want to help you take steps to being intentional in, in raising up your kid and come alongside you in that hopefully you guys will find that the faith box is a really cool thing to have over the course of your child's development and that the storybook Bible and that kind of curriculum and, and the CDs are just valuable tools in helping you shape the the young lives that God has placed in in your hand and and so I I want you to know um, I am praying for you I am praying for your kids by name regularly I pray through the list of kids who are at Revision Kids I'm passionate about the next generation I'm so fired up about what God is doing in their lives and baby and child dedication is a way for our church to come alongside you and to say hey if you are committed to this idea that God has given you the primary stewardship of raising up your kids and, and pointing them towards him letting them know who he is and who he made them to be we will do everything everything we can to come alongside you in that and to love your kid and that's what it's all about if you have any questions and anything you want to follow up on please don't hesitate to contact me but I am 
so excited for dedication, so excited to, um, to have you be a part of that. God bless.